Welcome to Talking to Smith People. Yes, it's another edition of Bathtub Musings with Hook Eric. Today I wish to make two videos. First of which will be about the ENFP personality type and about my own predilection, if that's the word I'm looking for, for stereotyping people in humorous ways. So, <clears throat> my basic joke about the polar TI individual is that if you tell them, listen, Joe is the brother of Tammy and Fred. Tammy and Fred live far away from Joe. Tammy and Fred have decided to join together to buy a present for Joe, for his birthday. And they're going to mail it to him. Now, here's the deal. If they choose to buy a present that comes in two pieces, then you will receive, Joe will receive, a package from Fred on Saturday. And if Joe receives a package from Fred on Saturday, then he'll receive the second piece on Wednesday from Tammy. If on the other hand they choose to go in together, that is to say Joe and Tammy, on a present that's comprised of just one piece, well, then uh, the former set of conditionalities wouldn't apply. Okay, so Instead, what would happen is he'd receive one present, and it would be for both of them. One package. If you tell this story, which is clumsily set up here, uh, to a TI polar person, and you ask him questions like, okay, so if Joe receives a package on Monday, what does that mean? Um, does Tammy and Fred love him? Okay, so I just told you that if you receive a package from just Fred on Monday, then on Monday you receive a, a second package from Tammy, and that, that means that the product that they chose to go in together on was made up of two pieces. And so what I'm saying now is that uh, he didn't receive a product, he didn't receive a package from just one of them, he received a package from both of them. What, are you, what can you deduce from that? That they both love him the same. That they got a package. That they, that they paid for the package. That they did it together as brother and sister. That any number of things except that it was made of one piece, or, or whatever the thing you're intending them to conclude is. If you set up a conditionality problem, typically somebody who's an untrained ENFP or presumably ESFP, um, they they totally don't get conditionality. Definitely ESFP. Now, once I made a video called "An Hour and a Half with Earth's Stupidest Woman," and it was extraordinarily frustrating. So, having played into the stereotype aspect of ENFPs and ESFPs don't get logic, let me point out the counterexample. I had a very, very capable policy debate coach, an ENFP. Now, sure, he had been under ENTP tutelage since he was sixth grade and had been put through competition academics since before that. I'm not even convinced he is an ENFP. He might be an ENTP, but I'm actually, but I, no. He's not. He's in the NFP that just is really very smart and he doesn't operate through conditionality as a basic lens, but he gets it for debate. He can recognize it when he hears it and he knows that certain types of arguments are fallacious and responds accordingly as a TE thing rather than a TI thing. He learns the mechanisms. You know, he learned all the mechanisms of debate. And he was also good at spelling bees, 
which is another TE uh, using aspect. Now I want to point out something else here. I am an SI4 slot person. That means that I'm not habitually using SI as much as I, by a long, large margin, as much as I am habitually using NE. To use a cognitive function simply means to attend to matters that fall under that functionality's domain. So, for example, I'm taking a bath right now. It's SI for Philly. And I'm talking about but you're not good at SI, Eric. Well, I mean, this, that's kind of the point about the TE as well and the TI as well. My SI right now is as good as anybody else's. I'm SIing the fuck out of this bath. I mean, I'm actually not because I'm doing this video. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it's for to detract from the SI because I'm focusing on you guys on FE and on any. But the fact that I'm taking a bath at all is an example of much improved SI because it shows that I'm at least trying to care about how I'm going to feel later or making sure I still feel good. Stuff like that. It preserves my sense of contentment and well-being and happiness and whatnot by avoiding some things proved to have negative impact on my mood. So, we take very seriously in Strauss Kimberly family. We take very seriously the matter of eating. Neither of us is allowed to get hungry. We can really start feeling hungry. She says, okay, I, I'm starting to feel hungry. And that's you know, all she's got to say, and I go into emergency mode. I know how it is. If she's feeling good SI wise, and the world that she and I manifest between us um, fights her ample opportunity to feel comfortable in that fashion, then she's happy and I'm good. And everything's good. So, my SI right now is it's like a, a little kid doing pretend work next to the adult doing real work in the sense that I'm just taking the bath. I'm not really doing the whole SI thing I'm, at the moment. Like, I'm not really really getting into it. Like, oh, Calgon, take me away. I'm not high, I'm Rubeth. And I'm taking a bath. And now, to really get into your SI, you got to say, oh. Anyhow, um, hold on, I'm not done with insightful wisdoms. I just have to remember what I was talking about. Um, oh, right, but the point I wanted to make was at any given moment, a, an ENFP's TI might be the best in the room. It doesn't matter if the ENFP is and ISP is in the room. It's just, it's like, it's like Katie, Katie often makes the joke of the day. I make more jokes, you know, obviously I probably get more total laughs, but she often makes the joke of the day and she's got polar in it. Remember, it's not, it, what the cognitive function stack tells us is how habitually we go to that means of manifesting our own reality. What manner of attention is most comfortable for us? For me, if not SI, it's metaphysical action. SI is nice. It's my very, very favorite kind of physical action, for sure. Because it's not so much acting upon the physical world as it is Taking advantage of aspects of the physical world that allow 
body to feel physically good and comfortable and relaxed and stuff like that. So, on that ground, you can sort of take a TE friend, the whole cognitive function model, and say, in this given moment, my TI was my TI won the day. It doesn't matter what type I am. My TI won the day here, whether you think it's like the right way to do it or whatever. So I might not ideate the same way that my ENFP policy coach ideated, but it doesn't make his ideation any less valid. And if he wins, he wins. Boom. You know, it's like, what can you say? So don't think you're dumb ENFPs. Don't think you're dumb ESFPs. Well, that one that was the stupidest Earth Service woman, she's, she's, a, she's a walking bag of dumbness in every sense of the word. But that's not the point of these bath musings, Eric. You need to stop getting off topic. Now listen up, mister. What was the topic of this video? Getting my bath on. I don't remember, but I'm sure it links back somehow. And that's how it links back to the topic, right there. You fill in the blanks. Thanks for watching. You're not going to see my nudity, don't worry.